Welcome to the Mosquito Render Exposure Control video. This video uses a simple scene made out of a box object, an area light, two spheres and a camera. This will be our base for explaining you how Mosquito Render handles exposure control. Keep in mind Mosquito Render is a true GPU based renderer and we are using Active Shade here as our instant feedback. As you can see it's way overexposed and we are now going to use the exposure controls in Mosquito Render. Exposure control is handled through standard 3D Studio Max cameras. That's a unique feature of Mosquito Render. Not many renderers do that. They all come with their own cameras. But here with Mosquito Render you can just use any standard 3D Studio Max camera. And that means your scenes are not corrupted and you can pass them on without any issue at all. Also you can use multiple cameras to use multiple exposure controls or multiple physical camera effects. As you can see, as soon as you uh, activate the exposure control, you will get instant updates in Active Shade. And as you control and adjust the uh, physical camera, uh, like uh, the f-stop for example, or the shutter speed, it instantly gives you feedback in Active Shade. That's the power of GPU rendering we can use here. Another uh, unique feature is the effect background. So Mosquito Render does respect background and this even works through refractions and reflections. So based on the uh, refraction reflection seen in the camera, the exposure control can be applied or not to the background image. The same is true for image control. Now we want to show you a different method to use exposure control. Mosquito Render supports standard exposure controls as well. For example, the logarithmic exposure control. By supporting these standard exposure control uh, features of 3D Studio Max, you can actually create scenes that will be easy to pass on to other users which do not have Mosquito Render installed on their system. That's a great functionality offered by Mosquito Render and that's only possible because we do support the standard exposure controls, including the MR photographic exposure control. And that's very similar to the uh, physical camera of Mosquito Render. So there's no nothing you need to learn extra. It just uses similar parameters and you're ready to go. However, we do suggest that you use the Mosquito Physical Camera Exposure Control and whenever you use that, the standard max controls are turned off automatically. Physical Camera of Mosquito Render just gives you much more control over your final result of the image and it has a very special feature called Vibrance that just gives you the possibility to make your images pop much more. It's done by making the colors more saturated and that's really a great additional feature of Mosquito Render that just shows how deeply integrated it is in 3D Studio Max and how much great advantages you get with this application. I hope you enjoyed the video and check out our other videos as well.